Hello, fourth graders. It's Mrs. Belatash again, and we are starting our next unit. And with the idea that there's this big earth here, you might get the idea that this is our next, our earth science unit, and you would be right. And I have this beautiful big globe of the earth here. And when we look at the earth like this, we think, wow, the earth is just all blue water and some continents. There's Africa and let's see, we see there's Australia, there's North America and South America. So you think to yourself, oh, it's just all of that. But in fact, if we cut the earth open, we would see that it is very different. The earth is kind of like an apple. When you look at an apple like this, and let's pretend you've never eaten an apple before, you think, wow, this thing is just all red skin, or this is the entire part of the apple. This is what it looks like all the way through. But when we cut the or apple open, we see that most of the apple is actually not the red skin, right? The skin is this very, very thin part. Then we have the delicious sweet fruit and we have the core of the apple. Well, that is exactly what the earth is like. If we slice open the earth, so on this side over here, we see the water and the continents. But if we slice open the earth, we see that it's very thin. That part that we live on is the crust. And it is a very, very small part of the earth. Most of the earth is this part, the mantle. And then on the inside is the core, just like we have. But even if the crust is very thin, it's always changing, right? I mean, you can go hiking and you can go up a tall mountain. You can go to the desert. You can go into a valley. The surface of the earth is constantly changing, even... Okay, before we move any further, I would like us to get out our science notebook. And we're going to glue this page in. It's called Soil Observations. So glue that in. Make sure you put the date and we number the page. Mine is on page 18. And I'm going to go back to the table of contents. I'm going to put nine soil observations and I'm going to put the page number 18. You might have a different page number. Okay, then I'm going to go back to the soil observations and I'm going to put that aside for a minute because we're going to open the bags. Yippee! I opened my bag already and these are the things that I want you to notice. So there's a bag of earth material and it's called, it's got an R and a D on it. There's a bag of earth material and it's got an F on it. There's a bag of earth material that has an M on it. There's a bag of earth material that has a D on it. We're gonna look at all of those today. And you should also have a magnifying glass in your kit. Now, there should be another little bag that has some shells and some, maybe some rocks or minerals. And I just gave those to you as a little present. Um, they're all for you to keep. You don't need to return any of these materials to me. You get to keep the magnifying glass, all of the rocks, anything that's in the kit that is yours to keep, okay? And also from the first unit. All right, so we are also going to take out these two vials. So, and the rest of it, I'm gonna put aside. In your science notebook, I want you to label each one of those, one, two, three, four, with these letters. Soil number one is an M, that's the bag that I have labeled M. Soil number two is D. Soil number three is F. And soil number four is RD. When you open the materials in a few minutes, I want to make sure that you label the paper plates with the letter of each one so that you don't forget which material is which because we're going to compare them against each other. So make sure that you label one M, one RD, one D, and one F. So you've labeled your paper plates. So make sure you have those labels on them. And we're going to start with the soil in number one, M. 
and we're going to empty it onto a paper plate or a piece of paper. You're gonna get your magnifying glass. And I want you to observe these materials. Are they all the same size? Are they all the same color? Take a few minutes and describe these earth materials with your class. If you went to Carpenter in second grade, you know the names of some of these rocks, right? So a rock that's about this size, that is a pebble. This is a pebble size rock. And a rock that is about this size is a gravel. That's gravel. And then there's some rocks that, that are a little smaller, and that would be sand. And there might even be some silt in there. So we've got pebbles, gravel, sand, and silt. But that's not the only thing that I see in there. I see some crystals, right? I see some pretty um, beautiful crystals. But I see a few twigs and a few leaves, maybe even just a tiny little bit of soil. And what I wrote in box number one, I just wrote something. I said a lot of pebbles, a lot of gravel, some sand and silt, and very little leaves or soil. Okay, so I'm going to put this aside and now I'm gonna look at bag number two, which is the letter D. I'm gonna dump letter D onto a piece of paper or a paper plate. And now I'm going to spread it out and take a look at these materials. Oh, this is very interesting. This one is very different than the one we just saw, right? So this is letter D. And take a minute and look at the material and describe it with your class. When I looked at this material, I really didn't see any pebbles. I don't have pebbles in mine, at least. I see a lot of small gravel. I see a lot of sand and silt, and I see just a, maybe a few leaves and twigs, very, very little. So that's what I wrote in my science journal. I wrote no pebbles, small gravel, a lot of sand and silt, very little leaves and or soil. Now we're going to put that aside and we are going to look at number three, the letter F. I have letter F and I'm gonna dump it onto a piece of paper or a paper plate. And I'm gonna spread it around. Ooh, very interesting. And I'm going to ask you to describe it with your class. So mine is very, very different from the other ones that I've looked at. So there are a few pebbles. I do have a few. There are some pebbles and there is some gravel. There is some sand and silt but it looks to me like most of this is a lot of leaves and soil. And so that's what I wrote in my science notebook. So now I'm gonna put this one away and I'm going to get out the next one, which is RD. So this is the last bag of soil or earth materials that we're gonna look at. I'm putting it onto another paper plate. And oh, wow. Every single one of them has been so different. Very interesting. So take a minute and talk about it with your class. So this one is very, very different. Um, I don't have any pebbles in mine. So I said no pebbles. I do have some small gravel. So I wrote small gravel in my notebook. Um, I I'm feeling it. I, can, I, I don't really feel very much sand. I do see some sand. So I'm gonna say some sand. But most of what I see here is silt. And do you remember from second grade, there was something even smaller than silt, and it was clay. I think that this one has mostly silt and clay. I have a few little leaves, but hardly any. It's mostly silt. So I wanna talk a little bit about how all of these very different soils are similar. What are some things that these soils or these earth materials have in common? First of all, all of these are have some type of an earth material component to it, right? There are pebbles, 
gravel, sand, silt, and clay. So all of them have some of these materials. Now, they're in different amounts, right? Like this one has a lot of pebbles. This one doesn't have any pebbles. Some of them have more of the darker soil. And I, that darker soil, guys, is actually called humus. Humus, not hummus, but humus. And humus is dead plants, organic matter. So when a tree dies, it decomposes, it breaks down, and then it goes and it becomes part of the soil. So soil actually consists of two things, things that were living, dead plants, and things that were never living, rocks and soil, rocks and sand and silt and things like that. Now we're going to put some of these materials in some vials. I didn't have enough vials for everybody to get four vials. So I'm gonna ask that you guys take turns. Half of the class is going to put the materials from letter M and letter D in a vial, each one in their own vial. And half of the class is going to do letters um, bag F and bag RD in a vial. So this is how you do it. You take the vial, the lid off, and I like to fold it up like a taco. I'm gonna take my paper plate and I'm gonna bend it and I'm going to pour it in up until the line. Do you see where the line is? And I'm gonna pour it in until it gets to that line. And then I'm going to stop. And the extra material I'm gonna put back in the bag. Now I have put material in each of these vials. I'm doing four so that we can look at them all together. So, and the other thing I'm gonna do is I've put a little label on the top of each one, either R, D, D, F, or M. If you have some tape, you might also wanna put it on the side of the vial so that we know exactly which vial goes with which bag. And now I'm going to add some water to the vials. And I want you, and you guys can do this too, and I want you to watch what happens to the vials. Oh, look at this one. This one's very interesting, look at this. There were some bubbles that were coming up through the material. And I'm gonna add some water to this one. Okay, and now I'm going to put the top on each one. Remember, that's why it's kind of important that you keep track of which is which. And uh, then I'm going to shake it. So this one is M. Ooh, look at that. There's a bunch of stuff floating on the top. Okay, I'm gonna put it down. This one is F. Ooh, it got very opaque, didn't it? And more of that stuff is floating on the top. All right. This is RD. Ooh, I see stuff settling out of the water. Do you see how I, it falls down? And this one is D. Look at this, isn't this in interesting? Some of it is still dry at the bottom. The water has not gone all, all the way through. Ah, now it has. Oh, it's very, very interesting. Okay, now we are going to let these sit and we're not going to touch them. I mean, you can observe them, don't open them, don't do anything. Next week, we're gonna look at them again and see if we can find out some more things about these materials.